the property calculator stencil is included in our Promax property stencil list and with this we can perform calculations and display them directly on our flow sheet. And so in this example video I'm going to use this stencil to take my sales gas flow and divide it by my sales oil flow in order to come up with like an economic gas to oil ratio to display. To do so I'm going to come grab this property calculator stencil and drag that onto my page. When we first drop it on the page it will tell us that our variables are not set and this is just meaning that we haven't set things up yet and so to begin the setup process I'll just double click on this box. After double clicking on the box our editing window will appear. The first thing that I'll mention here is the white box near, near the bottom. This is where our variables are going to be stored. At this point we haven't added any variables and so to add a variable I just need to double click in this white box and that brings up our variable moniker tree and so now I can open this to go find my sales gas flow. I'll come into my sales gas stream into the total phase and then the property that I want will be that standard vapor volumetric flow. Now that I have selected that variable it appears here in my window. The default name can be changed by double clicking on that name and I will instead call this my sales gas and click OK. From here if I want to add another variable I can again double click in the white space in the box and open up my moniker tree here once again and let's go find the sales oil now. I can open that and look at its phases at the total phase and this time the property will be my standard liquid volumetric flow. Again with that selected I can now double click on the name and call this my sales oil and click OK. It's also important to double check that I have these in the units that I desire and so I want this to be in standard cubic feet per day divided by barrels per day. To change the units you can just double click on the units and then I can use this to change it to barrels per day. Now that I have all of my variables selected I need to go and actually write out the calculation that I like to perform and this can be done in the edit script function menu. Using this button will now bring up our actual script for this calculation and this is using VB script and so you can use any of the capabilities that come with that type of coding. That means we could use if else statements, any type of math functions, we can include text to be written out. In this case it's just simply going to be my sales gas variable divided by my sales oil variable. Okay, so whatever is written in this my script function line, that's what's going to display on our page, which will be this ratio. Now that I have the calculation set up, I can close this window. And the last few things I'll point out to you include the prefix here, and so this is any text that we would like to show up before the value that is calculated. And so I want it to say GOR with a couple spaces. The suffix, of course, is what will appear after the value that's calculated. And so I'll include a space and then my standard cubic feet per barrel. The tooltip, I can include a tooltip, and that's just what will show up if I hover over this box. And so I could type in a reminder that this is the GOR calculated by a property calculator stencil. Okay. And then the precision is how many significant figures this will use. So I'm going to use five in this example. And from here, I'll click OK. You can see now that that is displayed with the prefix and the suffix that I included. If I hover over this, if I've included a tooltip, that is now displayed. And this has calculated my GOR in this case to be 35,952 standard cubic feet per barrel. And so that's how this property calculator can be used. I hope that that tool is of use to you. And as always, if you have any questions on this tool or other things that we can help out with, feel free to give us a call. Our number here is 
776-5220 or you can email us at support at bre.com.